At first, I was really confused by this question because why would you even expect those two averages to coincide? And then I realized that I didn't expect them to coincide because I have a concept, a deeper understanding of when linearity of this shape is preserved via this sort of operation. Here, what we're doing is we have a function, in this case, inversion, a is sent to 1 over a, and we're taking two values, we're using this function, we're doing the average of those two values, and then using the inverse function to bring it back to the original set of values and try to compare if the original average of the values and this average that I'm getting coming back and forth through that function, if those averages coincide. And if this function had it been a function with a linear graph, so instead of a is sent to 1 over a, if we had a is sent to 3a plus 1, for example, what we call an affine function, then that preserves linearity, and I would expect those two averages to coincide, and they do coincide if we use that function. But if the function that we're using, for example here, inversion, or we're using a function that is quadratic, like squaring, those functions that are non-linear do not preserve these linear properties such as averages. And uh, therefore, we do not expect these averages to coincide in that case. So what I'm going to do is explain algebraically why it doesn't work, and then I'm going to show you graphically why we do not expect it to work, and finally show you graphically a case where it does work uh, because it is an affine function. First, let me show you that it doesn't work in general algebraically. So here what you are doing is take a number a and a number b, invert them, do the average, and then invert again. If you simplify this expression, what you get is that that quantity is 2ab divided by a plus b, which is definitely not a plus b divided by 2 in general. So it doesn't work. Now let me show you that we wouldn't expect it visually either from the graph of 1 over x. Here's a graph of 1 over x, so let's find 1 over a, that will be here, and then find 1 over b. So if we go here, this is 1 over b. Now find the average of these two values, that will be the middle point between those two points. And now I can send this back, I want 1 over x of this value, so since uh, 1 over x is its own inverse, that lands here. And then you can see that it's far off from the average of the actual two values, so we see that they will not coincide. Now let's replace 1 over a by a squared, so by a squaring. What happens in this case? Uh, let's take a squared, this is a squared, let's go and find a b squared, that is here, so the average of a squared and b squared will land somewhere here, and now do the square root of this value. So if I go back, I see that I land here, which is far off from the average of the two, which would be somewhere there. So we do not, we do not expect it to coincide either, those averages to coincide, when we're talking about squaring numbers. However, I do expect it to work for a function such as 3x plus 1. Let's try it. So if I compute 3a plus 1, uh, that will be somewhere here. If I compute 3b plus 1, that will land somewhere in here. And if I compute the average of the two, that will be here. And then do the inverse, which is uh, y minus 1 divided by 3, but it's just, visually, it's here. And you see that I return to the point that is the average of a and b, so it works in this case as expected.